T minus 15 seconds, stand by for terminal count. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition, lift off. And you see on your screen, we have had successful liftoff of Falcon 9 carrying Zuma. We have cleared the tower, so we're now coming up on two events that is going supersonic and max Q. Now, maximum aerodynamic pressure is when we are at the point of maximum stress on the vehicle. From that point on, we're going through thinner and thinner atmosphere, so stress will continually decrease. And we've just passed max Q. So again, that means that as we ascend higher and higher, the atmosphere is thinner and we do not need to have as much stress on the vehicle. Now, we're gonna go through four events here in rapid succession. And those are in order, MECO, stage separation, SES-1, and the boost backburn. Now, MECO stands for main engine cutoff. That's when the first stage stops firing. There follows stage separation when first and second stage depart from each other. SES-1 is the third event. That stands for second engine start. That's when second stage begins firing. And then the fourth event in that sequence is the boost back burn. That's when first stage begins firing again to start its trajectory back to landing zone one. Now that sequence will occur at about 15 seconds in duration, starting about 15 seconds from now. Oh, so this is RC on countdown. Please the relinquish control of the camera, please. States have confirmed. Stage one is at its foot. Now we've had successful confirmation of, again, MECO, stage separation, second engine start, and the boost back burn. Up. Next major milestone is fairing separation. That should occur any second now. We're not going to show video, co video coverage of it, but we will confirm that the fairings have separated, meaning that Zuma and second stage are the only vehicles continuing on to their final orbit. <laughs> 